So we have somebody who was just um, found that they were arrested for having child pictures, if you know what I mean, in their place. This was America's first openly gay trans, I mean, first openly transgender uh, state legislator. So let's go ahead and get right into that. <clears throat> Y'all see that? Cool. America's first openly transgender state legislator arrested faces charges of child sex, uh, faces child sex charges. Despite a criminal past peppered with additional charges, including a bomb threat directed at Southern New Hampshire's Medical Center in 2015 and misuse of the state's 911 texting system in 2021, Walton managed a re-election in 2022. Why do y'all think that was? Stacey Marie Lawton, a former New Hampshire state representative who identifies as a transgender woman, was detained Thursday on allegations of dismantling, oh, disseminating, sorry, Disseminating sexually explicit images of children. children. I apologize. Lawton, who is biologically male, initially won a legislative seat in 2012, but his tenure, tenure was short-lived due to an ongoing probation period following a 2008 credit card fraud. Felony conviction. Fox reported. Let's read just a tad bit more. Despite a criminal past peppered with additional charges, we just read this part. The yeah, um so they spoke uh, the um not I guess that's Nashua Police Department's public information officer Sergeant John Sanili stated that their investigation into allegations commenced on Tuesday. They spoke with reporting parties that indicated London distributing sexually explicit images of children. These the findings prompted the Texas from the Special Investigations Division to secure an arrest warrant for London. The 39 year old now faces an arraignment in Hillsborough. Uh, County Superior Court South on Friday. Lawton's criminal history extends back to 2002 in a pre with previous arrests for domestic violence, criminal mischief, and sexual assault on a woman. Huh. Lawton, in the past, has, has distributed to criminal behavior to mental illness. Ugh. After an arrest for issuing a bomb threat, he shared with New Hampshire union leader, I have had a mental illness my whole life, and I guess this was my worst break with it. I wasn't trying to hurt anyone, and it was totally out of character for me. I never thought it would I would do this in a million years. <coughs> We're going to see a one more post of that, but I want to get my initial reactions first. I've been seeing this float around, but I didn't read into it. I normally don't wait until I, wait until I get here on camera to read into it. Um, I just know kind of what's going on. I want to say this. When it comes to um, children, once again, every time we see... <coughs> men in dresses and we see them around children y'all think it's okay but it's not it is not i understand that a dress does not mean you are uh, a dress that necessarily inherently make you creepy right but in america where the social norm for a dress is normally to be towards a female when guys are wearing it over here they are wearing it in a weird way they're not wearing it as some a cultural thing like you may see in other countries. It is not part of everyday dress. When guys wear dresses over here, it is normally to say something's going on with me. I'm wearing a dress. I'm wearing a very colorful dress. In or, and when it's a grown man. Now, I'm not going to put this on young boys, which we like to do is every time a little kid who's three-year-old puts on a dress, we assume that there's something else. No, what I'm saying is when we have a grown man wearing a dress, saying that I'm a woman, saying that I'm this and that, it is odd. When you have a cross-dresser who's not even trying to say they're a female, it is still odd. Because what would be the reason of putting on a dress to seem more feminine? Because when you see a cross-dresser, when they put on a dress, it's not like they're walking around even more manly than before. It's not like they're walking around still acting somewhat masculine, right? When a guy puts on a uh, cross-dressing, they tend to act more feminine, okay? Now, I understand a dress is an equal feminine, but there are feminine traits that we have attributed over this uh, social culture norms. And I think we still need to keep up with them, those things. There's, there does, does need to be masculine and there does need to be feminine. So when guys are cross-dressing and they are acting feminine, there tends to be something off about them. But people will have you believe. The other side will have you believe that. And I'm not even saying Democrat. Y'all know what side I'm talking about. If you don't, come to my live streams. I'll talk about it. But... The, the things that we're, the things that we see when these guys wear dresses, the thing that they're trying to tell us is that it's supposed to be empowering. A man getting into his true nature, being who he's supposed to be. No, because when a guy is doing that, there's normally something mentally wrong with him. Even if he doesn't necessarily have gender dysphoria or anything like that, it's still something mental that comes with wearing a dress and acting like a female to that degree where you're acting super and effeminate. 
there's normally something going on. Even this guy here said that he had mental illness already. But why did he get elected? Why did he get elected? And that's what I want to point on right now. I want to show you something that somebody had posted on Twitter. So this guy named Greg Price, shout out to Greg Price at Greg Price underscore Price 11. <clears throat> First transgender elected official arrested for child pornography, which is the guy we just read about. First transgender army officer arrested for selling military secrets to the Russian. The first non-buried government official arrested for stealing luggage, luggage on, from airports. See, because what we're starting to see more and more of is these people who are wearing these dresses pretending that they're women or not pretending to be women, but they're wearing dresses anyway. What we're starting to learn is there's normally something off about these people. And I don't know why it's taking us so long to realize that this is not normal. This is the first, first, and first. Every time we took a chance and said, okay, well, maybe this person's normal. No! What's wrong with what's wrong with using our intellect? It's like people want to act dumb now. People really want us to just be like, oh, well, you know what? I understand. I just don't want to be a bigot because he's wearing a dress to me. He's a weird person. Every situation, at least these last few, every time we do this, they normally turn out to be weird. When we let men start going into bathrooms, do you think that was going to be okay? No. Men started doing stuff to women. Men start taking taking pictures. There are people. There are men who already do that kind of stuff. Do you think it was going to get better? When we started letting men who wear dresses, you think they were mentally capable? You think there wasn't something wrong with them to make them want to go into a female's bathroom? This is what I've said before. Somebody made this point, and y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Some people said, why do transgendered men not go into men's bathrooms? Why is it rare for you to see a transgendered man, which is a biological woman, go into men's bathrooms or fight for it so hard? Because they know going into a man's bathroom not a good thing putting men around women like that i'm not saying all men are creepy and i think in fact i'm here to say the vast majority of men will not take advantage of a woman in a bathroom even if transgender men went into the bathroom most men aren't going to do anything they're not gonna be like oh here's my opportunity to have sex with them because that those are weirdos you understand that most men aren't going to take advantage of a woman in the bathroom however when you get a transgender woman which is a biological male who wants to be a female I see them more likely to take care of, take advantage of a woman because why do they want to so badly be in a woman's bathroom that they feel like they have to fight for it? I feel like those men are more creepy. I'm sorry. Tra uh, tr now, I'm not saying a transgender man itself. I mean, a transgender female is, a transgender woman is creepy inherently. But what I am saying is if I see a transgender woman who is fighting so hard to go in the women's bathroom, I'm sorry. I find them more creepy. I find them to be more likely to be creeps than I find them more likely to be trying to solve with their mental illness. Because somebody who's fighting hard to go into the opposite bathroom, there's something wrong. It's the same thing I say when somebody's like, oh, I want to chop off my breast. There's something wrong. Oh, I want to take out my uterus. There's something wrong. People, men who fought, fight for that, fight so hard to be a woman, fight so hard to go into their bathroom, fight so hard to go into their locker rooms, fight so hard to be a part of their sports. There's something wrong with them because they, they aren't seeing the world as it is. They want to live in this virtual reality. And there's some men who know exactly what they're doing. There's some men who are really just creeps. And that's their only job is wanting to get in the women's locker room. It's going to be a turn on for them. Let's just be honest. It's going to be a turn on for some of them. Be going into a woman's bathroom and nobody being able to say anything, that's a turn on for them. There are guys who do that already who aren't transgender. Guys who do creepy stuff like that. So you know somebody who's going to go to that, that, that length to get into the bathroom is going to do that. Now back to this man. This man who is having child, um, child sexual pictures in his room. All right. All of this, but you know why? First of all, this person already had a battered past. Battered. Somebody who was doing bomb threats, okay? Um, somebody who was already doing bomb threats. Hold on, what was the other stuff that they had? Misuse of 911 uh, texting. And he already was um, had domestic violence and already had said had sexual assault on a woman. And now this guy's in a dress. Y'all don't think y'all should think, well, hold on. Maybe in they got, I think they got breast implants. Maybe, just maybe, this person isn't who we should have as an elected official. 
I really don't understand it. Like, I'm utterly confused sometimes. Well, I get it. It's more about a power or control thing that they keep putting these people in power to show they're not trying to be inclusive. I want to let y'all know that. This whole concept of, oh, they want to be inclusive and love everybody. No, they're not trying to do that for you guys. But their main purpose of doing all this kind of stuff is to control. End of the day, that's what it's about. Control. They want to make sure if they sell you something, you it and we all know what it started with but now they'll be like hey this is if we get them to believe this then we get them to believe anything the problem is that i hate about this is they're putting real people in danger they may be saying they may be just trying to control us by saying if we say a, a woman is a man and a man is a woman you better believe us if you don't we're going to come after you it's a control thing and a scare tactic but even then the evil part about it is that they're doing this and they're putting people who are dangerous in in power they put this elected official in power who had child pornography? They put an elected official in power who was selling secrets to the Russians. They put somebody in power who was stealing luggage. We keep putting these people in power to prove a point. Why don't we just let dangerous people be dangerous people? I don't really have a whole... I, I think somebody being in that position who is transgender, somebody who's struggling with a mental illness, a true mental illness, don't think they should be in power because it's gonna. they're going to do weird things. They are. Okay, some people in this world... In fact, I'd say... A lot of us cannot be and have this much power, especially when we're struggling with mental illnesses such as gender dysphoria or not even that. We just like to cross dress or we like to show our sexual fetishes to the world. Somebody who likes to cross dress and wants to show one of their fetishes, because I, I understand some people who want to cross dress want to look like women. Once again, that's a mental illness. But the other people who are doing it for a fetish, somebody who puts that on display, just like we see at the proper race, somebody who's willing to do that and put their sexual fetishes right in your face. There's something wrong with those people. There's something going on. There's something that needs to some therapy. There's something that needs to be talked about. Because if you feel like you need to put your damn face, oh man, I got one more thing I want to talk about. Um, that's pretty important, but we're going to leave this story here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think I'm crazy? You think it's wrong? Or you think we maybe just might need to take a second. And if a man is wearing a dress and getting breast implants, maybe we should have a conversation first. Let me know what you think. See you on the next video.